is it with food and funerals? Why do why why the fuck do they fear? Okay, let me just let me just say this. All right, the funeral crashers probably would have made wedding crashers look like yesterday's mail for real like for real because uh, honestly the number of people at funerals that don't want to eat that would rather fuck instead of eat is probably significant probably more than half probably two-thirds of the people that are at funerals would rather fuck than eat but 90 percent of funerals have too much food Exactly. People get start eating and start drinking. Next thing you know, it's like who's getting left out of the will kind of arguments. None of these things would happen if people were fucking at funerals instead of eating and drinking and, and bitching about what they're going to get or not going to get. It's disgusting. The whole thing is disgusting. I'm just like, <coughs> I will give away everything. Nice cough. I will give away everything before... I will give away everything before I pass on to the other life, or I will just die with nothing. Makes fucking perfect sense to me. I mean, the last thing you would want... No, no, the reality is, is there's some sadistic fucks, these guys? There's some really sadistic, morbid, egotistical motherfuckers that are like, I just want you to fight over me when I'm dead and have a... And they're like, yeah, they want to see you go to the... Look at that, look at that. Uh -huh. Oh, that's called t tooth... Mm. Failure to floss. <laughs> Get it out. Look at that one. Oh, back switches. Got rid of it. I'm going to smoke this fucking cigarette. Why? Because I'm so going to smoke this fucking cigarette. Because I like paying $8 a pack of cigarettes so six fat fucking lawyers could have airplanes. I think that's great. And the cost of Medicaid and the cost of health care in Texas didn't do what? Go down? Not one fucking dollar did it. Not one dollar did it go down. Thank you for booking. See, sooner or later you realize they're just a bunch of lying fucks and you don't give a shit if they live or die. In fact, the richer, the better off fucking dead. That's how you look at it. You're like, in order for this person to be a successful lawyer, that means they would have to have bullshitted and screwed this many people out of millions of dollars in order for them to be any good at what they do. And because they're really good at what they do, that means they're just fucking horrible. 